What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. Okay, so, huh. We went through another round of uh, hijinks and all that stuff. Yeah, we got ourselves a pure meteorite and all that, and then, top of it all, yeah, Team, Team Aqua, they will not stop meddling. Anywho, we have to go back to the Space Center because, well, something is afoot there. There's a big old foot, and we need to get there. Yeah. Anywho, we are continuing our Delta series right here, and we are mega evolving and speeding our way over there. Look at this. Speed! Oh my god. Just imagine having this for real. That would be complete. Well, that would be awesome right there. Anywho, let's see. Moss Deep City, how you doing? Where you at? We're gonna be uh, going down there like a Superman. And bam, superhero slide right there. See that, guys? In real life, I'd probably break an ankle again. But yeah, no. Anywho, so here we are in the sp or in the Moss Deep City, and we have to go back into the space center because apparently something's going on, as you guys can see. Team Aqua is looking, uh, yeah, they're looking pretty devious right there. He's like, let's go, grunts. Ah. And he's got his she grunts. Oh, damn. Okay, so yeah, he he's not missing. He's not messing around when a big buff guy needs she grunts. That means they are trained. Literally trained to whoop your you know what. So yeah, I'm not gonna Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with that. How about we Pokemon? And well, you can hear by the theme song, and I kinda have a feeling that we might face five in a row, so let's go with Leviathan right here. And Well, <sighs> let's see what goes on. Uh-oh. T! We finally meet again. It's been three, or uh, how long has it been? Nink and poop, it doesn't matter. Brace yourself. We won't let you call us the quintuplets. Oh, so yes, we are, okay, we're gonna fight them all. Okay, all right, so we were right. Here it is, guys, taking on quintuplets, and uh, the she quintuplets, and yes, they all come out with mighty Ennis right here. Holy crud, and I, I if it's five, they're going to just lower my physical attack. All five of them. And there's one. Ah. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, you guys are screwed. <laughs> you guys are screwed. Yeah, when I lack in physical attack, I'm going to surely make it up in special. So, yeah. Thank you, Jeebus, for the competitive technique. Oh, come on. Go ahead. Lower my physical attack. I got something for your asses. <laughs> Oh my god. I've never been so excited and well It's time to die. So here we go. Surf attack for the win. Obliterate. Oh look at that. Yeah. Five in a row. I always like taking on five people in a row or five five trainers in a row because I like to use moves like this and Oh, it makes me feel so dominant. Yeah, okay, and Lanoon without doing anything. Uh, yeah, gets to level 48, which is hilarious. And, well, there it is. We have defeated the She-Grunts, and, uh, well, let's see what's next. <laughs> They're not happy. <laughs> I knew we would lose. I wanted to win in style like the, po the Hoenn Rangers. It's odd. That strategy intimidated five times in a row. It should have been invincible. Did you cheat, Grumble Grumble? No, I just figured out that my Pokemon had competitive and, uh, yeah. Yeah, you guys kind of messed. You guys kind of screwed up yourself. Anywho, let's go up and uh, see what's up right here. Um, see, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're walking, and uh, Steven Stone, being cool as always, is like, "Your timing is impeccable as always, Draven." Team Aqua, what do you intend to do with that device? You do realize that this is the last hope we have of saving this planet. What was that? What last hope? Huh. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I ain't laughing with uh, one bit, punk. My bro, my bro who I love so much, are you trying to tell me that everything we've done up till now, that ties that bind us, all of it was a mistake? My bro has changed since he mixed up with you. How convenient it must, uh, let's see. Oh, that's him, okay. How convenient it must be <laughs> for, <laughs> you know what, I'm just going to talk normally, okay? How convenient it must be for uh, you to put uh, all the blame on another. Shut it! Know what? 
that rocket fuel or that rocket's full of crazy amounts of energy. And it's even more awesome than the uh, ultimate weapon that ended the war 3,000 year years ago, right? What? If I use this keystone I found in Meteorite Falls, I can use the fort or I can force the energy inside the, the rocket to explode. It'd be like a mega evolution for a rocket. <laughs> Whoever needs a meteoroid, meteoroid, meteor, meteoroid, can't pronounce it right, but yeah. I'm going to bring it, uh, bring it in, an end to all things of my own power. The one who will complete the project Azoth and take over the world uh, to its beginning is me. Draven, this fool. This incredible fool intends to do uh, intends to do it. If we don't stop this now, our whole world will be embroiled in destruction. You ready to battle, aren't you? Yes, I've been ready. Now let's do this. Yeah, he's gonna smash us up, but that ain't gonna happen. We're gonna, yeah. We all know what's gonna happen right here. So here we are, guys, tag teaming battle against Buff Bagwell himself and uh, his she demon, and he's gonna be coming out with a Sharpedo. And a mighty Anna. Okay. Okay, so time to take care of business right here. Let's do this. Dragon Pulse to Sharpedo. And uh, oh, wow. He is doing that. He's mega evolving his Pokemon. And look at this. Sharpedo looks just crazy. And well, I'm going to look even crazier because look at this. Ah, uh, yes. Mega evolution has nothing on me. And, well, here comes a Steel Wing attack. And, <laughs> it's kind of funny how, like, what's his face? Uh, Steven is taking the easier opponent. Thought you were a champion at one point, homeboy. Guess I gotta, like, get my hands dirty. And, well, here comes a Crunch attack. And that is going to hurt us a lot. So, here comes a Dragon Pulse. And, bam. Oh my god. Just like that, yes, we have one. And uh, Toxic Batman grows to level 52. Here comes a Steel Wing. And the Steel Wing does nothing except just defeat Mighty Anna and all that. You know, I'm talking to Steven like if he was Hop or Barry. But really, he's not. He's just, you know, he's, he's a pretty cool trainer in his own right. So here we have the Pokemon that <coughs> that is currently flipping us off. So here we go. Surf Attack. For the win, and thankfully, you know, Skarmory does have a lot of defenses right there. And look at that. Yes, teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. And Matt has been defeated alongside his She Grunt. Okay, all right. So let's see what's going on right here. He, he, he moonwalks, literally moonwalks back, and he's like, whoa, dang it. Am I not good enough, bro? Dot, dot, dot. Draven. Now is our chance. Take the dimensional shifter end. Uh, okay, so that's not ours. And, uh, oh, wow. What? And Aster has snatched the dimensional shifter away from Matt. Okay, that Pokemon doesn't belong to. Nice one, Aster. And here she is, Zinnia. And he's like, you're the, the Draconid. Yep. Or you could just call me Zinnia. Aster. Mirror. Thank you, dear. Now then, that is an impression machine. Snap your fingers, uh, the asteroid vanishes, and we will live happily ever after. <laughs> Indeed, it's like that former champ. It's like the former champ said, "This thing is the best hope for we got of saving this planet and everything on it." But you know, it could also be the worst tragedy imaginable for some other world and everything in it. What are you trying to say? Oh, I'm not talking to you. You don't get it. Ugh. But you, Draven. Hope for our world, tragedy, or for another. You get it, don't you? Yeah, I do. And you come through again. You never disappoint me. My people know it. From generation to generation, we pass along a lore about distortions of the world born by mega evolution mechanism. And about the existence of another world, which we all observed to observe to be, just like the ones that just like the ones that and yet not the same that's right the Hoenn region that's almost exactly like the one we live in filled with Pokemon and po people like us a world where maybe the evolution of Pokemon took a slightly different path where mega evolution is unknown a world where that war 3,000 years ago never happened are you talking about like hmm are you talking about like what was it called uh what was it the multiverse or something it, it kind of sounds like multiverse theory 
It kind of does sound like multi vote Burst Theory. Um, it sounds like Multiverse. Anywho, let's see. What do you have to say for yourself this time? Let's see. Hey, let's see. A world where the ultimate weapon was never built, and in the Hoenn re in in that Hoenn of that world, what would happen if one day out of the blue a meteor appeared, and what would happen to the people of the world without technology to destroy the meteor, the meteoroid, meteoroid, or the power that warp it away? Looks like it's beyond that power of your imagination. And she has crushed the dimensional shifter in her hand. She is a strong one. Holy crud. Okay. So, that can't be good. In fact, that's not good at all. What kind of fool are you? You have no substan substantive proof, and yet you claim another world. Or just like our own exists. Out of the fantasy, you 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 have destroyed our our only hope. What have you done? Farewell, brief hope. You 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 do know you do you even know? Now what are we going to do? Calm down, calm down, there, professor. It'll be okay. I we we can protect this world and the other. What? Wait, 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 wait. Who's exactly who exactly is we? What are your intentions? Oh yeah, silly me. I forgot the other thing I came for. And just like that, she just snatches this guy's keystone. Wow. Okay. Ugh. And that's the keystone gotten. Now I'll put it together with the keystone that they've got in their base. Ugh. Looks like my next appointment is calling, so I'll excuse myself for now. Later. She wants me. She really does. Th that punk! How dare she try to take my bro Archie's keystone. Not cool, man. Not cool. Confound it all. So she must be taken for Team Aqua's hideout next. Cool pose. Think, Stevens. Think. What do you... What to do? What to do? Uh, not do a cool pose and all that stuff. Anywho. That was very fun. That was uh, interesting. A interesting turn of events and all that crud. And uh, it is definitely going to get, going to continue in the next episode. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Alpha Sapphire walkthrough. See you guys.